Hey Long Beach, on February 1st, 2021, in a 10 to 1 vote, the California Coastal Commission approved the Belmont Beach and Aquatic Center project in Belmont Shore. Although approved, seven commissioners said they were concerned with the complex's location in an upscale, primarily white neighborhood, in a time when equitable use is so important. City officials agreed to a new study with more community outreach to show how the rest of the city could access the aquatic center before construction can begin. Coastal commissioners also tackled the issues of whether the pool complex was a coastal dependent use and why other sites weren't chosen. The complex is planned to replace the Belmont Plaza Olympic Pool, which was demolished in 2013, and the city staff argue it is a replacement, not a new facility. In 2013, the Belmont Plaza Pool, which was built in 1968, was determined to be at risk of a collapse in an earthquake. The structure was demolished, and an above-ground pool was installed in the former pool's parking lot. That pool has been in use since December of 2013. The area of the former pool was smoothed out and turned into a beachside park while the city began planning a replacement. The city's original plans involved a largely indoor complex under a domed roof. The plan was approved in 2017 by the city council, but a number of people and groups appealed to the Coastal Commission and staff there signaled that they would not recommend approval of the plan for multiple reasons, including height of the building and susceptibility to sea rise damage. The original plans for the Belmont Pool replacement called for a large complex at a cost of $104 million. The new, revised complex is estimated to cost $85 million and will have a smaller building for showers, storage, and other uses. The complex includes seven water features with an Olympic-level diving well and a water play area for kids. Long Beach City Manager Tom Modica said that work would begin on final construction drawings as well as completing the financing along with the equity planning. That likely will take a year before construction can begin. Special thanks to our boss and co-worker Harry Salzgaver for his original reporting and research on this story. For everything going on in Long Beach, go to our website, thegrunion.com. And with online video producer Jesse Lopez, I'm Kurt A. Eichstead reporting almost live for thegrunion.com. Thank you.